faster than I've normally played. This game is addicting, man. They're like, why did you show this? It's to me? so good. Why did you show <laughs> so this good. to me? <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm too passionate about Peggle. All right, I'm, I'm too passionate. That's my issue right now. Nice. Get the top down. All right, and then we can go in here and do some damage. Oh, baby. Oh, that was good. Yes. Oh, okay. We're finally on 7-1. Three balls. This is very hard. Is there a gap? I don't see a gap. I must have do like that. Oh, my God. 128.20. It's a PB by an hour and 10 minutes, man. Nice. All right, we got it. He's on run two. Okay. All right, we're on seven dash two. Ooh, nice shot. I just Thank beat you. my first run. I nice. am halfway through my challenge. I think this is like perfectly even. Yeah, this is okay. This is good. Oh, okay. I gotta get going. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. All right. We're like dead even now. This is pretty good. Round two, three, two, one, go. Look, guys, I need to be really close so he's, like, super focused on winning, right? And he thinks he has a good chance. And then, and only then... Do we offer the oil? Fool of a Doug. You can damn yourself, but not our hopes. Offer him the oil. He's not ready to accept it, chat. You can't force people into these things. We can't offer the oil yet. Okay, we're getting it. We gotta give Doug Doug a run for his money, you know? Nice! Oh, what a shot! That was, okay, you know, every good shot has a bad shot next to it, all right? Oh my God! When I get close and I start to actually catch up to wherever Point Crew is, I want you guys to go into his chat and be like, Doug is coming, Monka S. Doug is offering the oil, Monka W. Let's go. Doug is offering the oil. He's coming. I heard you would like to offer me the oil. I was going to suggest as an additional incentive, you have to take a shot of olive oil if you lose. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for you. Probably. Hopefully. Probably. Yeah. A shot of olive oil keeps the doctor away. That's what they say. All right. I'm down. I'm, um... I think I can win this. I'm that confident. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Chad, I'll do the olive oil if I lose, but I'm not going to lose. So easy. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. I really got to hurry up. This is actually a good race. I'm so focused right now. I'm unbelievably focused. Magic hat? Because oh, magic hat. It's the best power up. Because it gives your ball a hat. <laughs> oh, god damn it. No, this is the worst power in the game. If I lose this race, it's because magic hat is a sh power that nobody likes. Nobody thinks is cool. Magic hat keeps coming into parties thinking he's like the cool kid. And I'm like, no. Oh, the hat has a huge hitbox. That makes sense. Please. Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta ask, you know? Oh, come on. I mean, we'll get it next time, but... Did it just laugh at me? Did the game just laugh? Holy sh... <laughs> that was, and excuse my bad language, cuckoo. That was insane. What a shot. I'm nuts. How's Crow doing? 8-5. Okay. I'm, like, yeah, I'm catching up, dude. Oh, this one's, uh, this one's a hard level. I think I just need more balls. Don't we all? All right. Fine. It's not GG. Don't GG. Point has been stuck on this level for like 10 minutes. It's going to be fine. All right. We got it. We got it, chat. Let's go. Thank God we're off it. All right. Oh. All right. New one. Burns a path on the board. Let me check it out. Oh, fine. I get it. Point Crow's at 9 1. Ooh, okay. This is a race, dude. This is a race. Because I am I'm getting there. I'm catching up. There's some strategy involved. There's some thinking, some measure. Oh, oh, oh. What a beautiful shot. Oh my god, I gotta hold on to something. This game. I'm telling you, it changes the man. Wait, he's on 9 3? I thought it was on 9 2. Oh. Okay, okay. Let's let's pick it up. Oh, that was so sick. Oh, oh, the double bounce. Oh, the double bounce. Oh, the tubular. Oh, my God. Dude, I'm so into this game. He's on 9-4. Oh, shit. He's going to beat 9-4, I think. Oh, shit. I don't want to watch him. Chat, watch this. Oh. 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 <laughs> don't watch it, chat. Don't watch it. I regret. Oh, did he pick it up? Oh, he threw it. Oh, that is so unfortunate. But that was a brutal loss right there. Dude, you, you also know I'm doing the gamer lead, where you're just like, you're like in it, you know? 
<laughs> oh! Let's go. He's on the flower level. Wait, wait. Is that six? Seven? Oh my god. <laughs> that was the most. Let's go. I'm telling you, dude. He's too good at the game. The Zen was exactly what I already had planned. I'm literally so good. The Zen Vault doesn't even help me. <laughs> All right, we got it. All right, we got it. We got it, okay? You know what? We got some six shots in there. All right, 10-2. Hit, hit ball bucket. Hit ball bucket. Oh, my God. I am f***ing nuts. 10 2. Okay. 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 I mean, I'm, I'm playing really hot. Oh, nice. Let's go. Woo! Does he get some task bot? Or is that actually just his aim? Oh, those are wormholes? Oh, I didn't even see that. Dude, this one's so hard. Uh, I'm good, right? Not if I do that. What is happening? I'm throwing. I'm actually throwing. Jesus. Oh, this one's bad. This does not look good. Whoa! It looks great! It looks amazing! Only a god tier Peggle player could make a shot like that! He's actually correct. Can I hit it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was freaking out. Okay. I'm catching up. They could have just been like, this guy gives you a bigger ball or something. Instead of like, no, let's let's give him a hat. <laughs> like, why? Planned. That was not planned. All right, nice. All right, we got it. We got it. It's gonna be a close one. All right, 11. Are we gonna choose whoever we want? Oh, sh you just got another one? Holy sh Okay, okay, this is getting scary. I gotta go quick. The last five are ultra hard, though. I should be clear. I think I'm winning this race. The last five are brutal, but I think I'm gonna beat him on the last level. Last level's hard as fuck. Nah, he's not winning, chat. Oh! Oh! Oh, let's go! Oh, we saved it. Oh, what the hell? I didn't know those were uh, like that. No, oh, this is so hard. How close is Crow? He's two, le one level ahead of me. Okay, that's huge. We're tied. How do you catch up so fast? I heard you caught up. It's a tie game. It's a tie uh, game. Here. We need some insane shots here. I need the Zen shot. Two left. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, 11-4. Oh, this is gonna be close. I think the focus is to get the farthest ones first. Yeah, like that. Perfect, actually perfect. Last stage. Here we go. I see that you're on the last level. Don't get cocky, that level's hardest. Here we go, chat. Good shot. He's got two left. You won't make this. <laughs> got one shot left. I got it. I got him. Thread the needle. Got to focus. <laughs> There's no way you make that. No. Yes. Okay. Oh my God. No. I didn't make it. I didn't make it. Yes. Okay. 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 Yes. Oh. No. I was shot too early. I, I keep clicking too early because I'm nervous. Right, so I needed that. Okay, I just I just won, I think. Okay, I'm on the second to last level. These two you cannot clear unless you bounce off something. So I need to save these. <laughs> or if you're just f nuts, dude. I see I'm on the world. last level. I see a world in which Peggle. Oh my God, you have two left? I see a world in which Peggle. Peggle can be dreams. Peggle can be reality. Peggle can be anything you want. I see a world in which mortals oh God, become No, 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 no. Give me a second, I'm winning. Yes! Give me a second. Let's go! No, dude, that's so close. That stupid spaceship level, dude. Oh, that was crazy. As promised, I will give you the reward.
Ah, the olive oil. <laughs> oh, that's a. Oh, that's a. Oh, oh that is a lot. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, do you remember the good old days of being rated 500 at the game of chess? No. Is that still in your future? Are you rated about two, three, four hundred? Well, let me tell you, 500 is right around that point where you either are brand new to the game, still learning the ropes, learning a tactic or two every single time somebody gets checkmated and one of your games concludes, or you're rated 500 because you don't really want to study the game. Let's just be honest, you've played many, many games. Uh, you're not too interested in actually trying to, you know, slowly but surely work your way up. You just play because you have fun, and it's a good way to pass some time. In this game, we have a matchup between two 500-rated players who combined for 55 bad moves in a game that was 59 moves long. Okay? So, on that note, in the How to Lose a Chess playlist, we've seen a lot of Hall of Fame games. This one is definitely up there. Now, let's keep in mind it's 59 times 2, because they each get a move. So, half the game was bad. <laughs> so, the first move is not bad. Obviously, our protagonists uh, have been changed around. The names, they are honorary grandmasters. White is a golden retriever, black is a pile of pierogies, uh, being from Poland. Uh, and, and we have D5. Now, the truth is, uh, they are uh, 500, so I have no idea if black is playing a Scandinavian defense or if black just decided that in this game they were going to take the center. White plays the move E5. So, it's okay to play this against the Scandinavian, uh, instead of taking the pawn. The best move for black now is bishop to f5 as well as c5 because the structure is one where black gets an advanced Karo Khan structure and a French structure, but has improvements on both. And what I mean by that is the Karo Khan advanced variation, black already played c6, so by the time black plays c5, they're wasting another move on it. Uh, and in the French defense, right, it's like we have the structure, but somehow the bishop jumped over a pawn illegally. So when e5 happens, the best thing to do is to combine ideas from both of those. But okay, knight c6. This is not a great move because after you play d4, there is no c5 undermining the center, but white doesn't know that and just develops this. Now black plays a great move. Accelerating the development, pinning the knight to the queen, and white here decides to push their head into the barrel of their of the of the gun of the enemy and play queen to e2. Now that is just not a good move and already white is lost. Now white should finish developing bishops and knights and take as much center control as possible. That might mean here or here pinning the knight to the king, but this just isn't going to cut it uh, because you can even take and if queen takes, this is hanging, and if this, then your king is going to be wide open, and knight d4 can come in. And black tries to take advantage of the queen by playing knight to b4. Now, that immediately loses the game right back, because even though there is a threat, white here should look for checks first. You just always scan. Is there a check? And there is, and in this case, it's a very good move. Queen b5 is a triple fork. The best move for black is actually to go back and then proceed to lose this pawn, and maybe lose the rest of the pieces, okay? So queen b5 check, you just have to scan if checks are possible. That is why knight b4 is a bad move, but white sees the threat and instead of that plays knight to a3 and is now worse again. Not losing, but it, it's a mildly unpleasant uh, position. Uh, so uh, let's continue. Queen to d7. Uh, queen d7 is not a bad move. Uh, maybe... Uh, one second, I'm actually messaging my thumbnail guy to make the thumbnail for this video. Uh, as we're doing this, this is this, this is a little bit uh, kind of behind the scenes. So, queen d7 is not a bad move at all. I mean, it doesn't blunder anything, so as far as I'm concerned, I don't really care. Now, here, white plays a great move. I love this move. Booting the knight, and here, I just wish white finished building connect four. Because that center wall is so powerful. Instead of that, white was like, well, I moved the pawn one square. I might as well demonstrate I know how to move it again, right? Because I just need to show my opponent I really know how pawns move. No, this is not how it works. You should try to, you know, build your pawns up together uh, to restrict enemy movement. C4 is not a bad move. Uh, however, I mean, I understand it's minus two and black is winning again. I like this move by black, uh, locking down the center control and not making it easy for white to move. 
White here doesn't really know what to do. Both bishops are blocked in. I would like to see White develop this bishop because he's not getting this one out. Instead, White attacks the bishop. The bishop hangs around. And now White plays d3. Okay, fantastic. We have a totally equal position after eight moves of play. Nine moves of play. Um, knight h6. Even that is a logical move by Black. Uh, it's not a very good move, but it's a logical move. Um, and, uh, you know, White has a good opportunity here to take some space with the move g4. Normally, you don't really want to make side advancements like this because the bishop just moves. And then when you castle, you're just going to have a weak king. But White is now winning because White has an advantage on every side of the board. You have a center advantage, a king side advantage, and a queen side advantage. When it's really difficult for your opponent to move on all three sides of the board, there's no other sides. There's no fourth dimension, fifth or sixth dimension of chess. If you're dominated on all three sides of the board, you're going to struggle. If every pawn move on every side of the board is going to hurt, you're not going to have a good time. So, what does Black do? What any person with no moves would do, plays a random move, and now the, the advantage is blown wide open, because that move does less than nothing. It does negative to your position, because if anything, it helps me kickstart another, another whole set of attacking moves. Knight g5. All right, <clears throat> let's see what White does. White takes the pawn on d4 and loses the knight in one move. So white fell for it a little bit. White was like, ooh, the knight was used, used to guard this. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab that real quick. Thank you very much. And loses the knight for a pawn. Okay, the advantage according to Stockfish is not gone because black's position is so bad. But white insists on losing another piece with the move bishop takes b7. And now black is completely winning because the knight goes back. And for absolutely no reason, White has just gone from plus 3.5 to minus 5 in the span of two moves. That's why we love 500 ELO chess, because completely unprompted, left to their own volition, just like a dog and, a, and, a, and, a, and something chewy, they will destroy it and scatter it all over your living room. All right? So now White has lost. White just gave up two pieces for two pawns for absolutely no reason. How do you fight back in a situation like this? Well. One thing you want to do is you want to make sure your king is safe and you want to continue to create threats. Moves like bishop to e3, try to advance with your pawns, try to go for an attack on those pieces. Queen f3 here would be an amazing move. If the knight were to move, you would take the rook. So I love queen f3. What do you not want to do? You don't want to trade any pieces. The worst thing to do here for white would be to trade something like the queens because without the queens, you're never going to launch sufficient counterplay, right? That's why I said queen f3 and not queen e4. So that is how white wants to play here. Uh, white wants to not trade queens. So what does white do? Trades the queens immediately. And I turn off the air conditioner. The video did not break. I just didn't want it to make a lot of noise in the background. So queen to e4. White trades the queens right away, removing their most powerful piece. Their biggest hope of counterplay is gone. What black should do here is not even think. They should not even think they should take the queen. I mean, are you kidding me? You're left with just bishop, knight, and two rooks. Castle queenside. Slowly find a way to get out the rest of the pieces. Trade some pawns. Win the game. You have more material, right? Instead of that, instead of this, black's like, no, I don't want to trade queens. Like a little toddler. And now white is much better after the move. Uh, oh, sorry. White is... Uh, black, black, black is no longer much better after queen takes b7. So white's plan kind of worked. Queen f3, queen b7. Instead, it goes like this. And black plays a great move here. Queen to 